Okay, this is a video uh, on how to remove the screen on a Dell Inspiron E1505. This is a laptop here that I picked up actually from the from the dump. Um, it has that Media Direct stuff on there. Um, the the uh, screen is not working. Uh, the video card's functioning because I've had the screen off and uh, hooked it up to uh, external monitor and it works. I also had to reformat the hard drive on there, that media direct thing, which I've been seeing on the internet. A lot of people had problems with that, you know, keeps popping up and won't let you get to your, to your C drive. Um, the DVD ROM on it was not functioning, so... I installed uh, Windows 7 uh, from a, a USB drive, which, you know, I'll show you how to do that. But first of all, you got to get the screen off so that you can have instant access to the monitor. You know, with this monitor not working, when you go up to try to get into your, uh, to your BIOS. So uh, here we go with, with, this, with the screen removal. Um, First of all, you got to take off uh, this piece right here. And what you do is right here, you stick a little screwdriver, you got a little, little flat tip, you get it in there and you pop it off. Um, you know, sometimes it sounds like it's going to break, but don't worry about it. As long as you're gentle, it'll work. So here we go. step one. Now you can unplug your monitor, your screen from here if you don't want to remove the screen. All you have to do is right down here, this is your video cable. This little tag, if you pull up on it, Your monitor is, or your screen is now unplugged. It's got a little ground here. Um, you remove that. Here we go. We'll take that off. Come on. Okay, there, now that's off. That's your, that's your cable for your, for your monitor. Just pull it out of there, or for your screen. Now, as far as removing the actual screen, it's very simple. We just gotta get these two screws out and then on the back side here, let's see where they at. Oh, right. Let's see here and here. well, let's do it and then we'll then we'll know. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've had this off. I got to get a new screen for it. But, all right. Okay, so we're going to take our little screwdrivers. Again, this set from uh, Lowe's, this little set of cobalt mini drivers, is freaking awesome. Okay, so we'll get you. And just remember, try not to lose any screws. Um, they're very small. better. 
Okay, so we got that and that. Now we got to get you off on the back side. So, if I remember correctly, which I don't, um, oh yeah. off on either corner. Also got to disconnect. Um, I think it's the Wi-Fi. Yeah, the Wi-Fi. So for that, we got to take the keyboard out. Okay. Keyboard removal is is very simple. Let's get a little screws. Set them aside for now. You can see the difference in the length. This one here holds the back of the monitor or the screen. The shorty goes on the on your front mount. Okay, so we just got to remove the keyboard which you got to be careful, you don't want to pop your keys out. Um, but this is just simply two screws again. One. And two. They're right in plain sight, you can't miss them. Screws are the same length as what hold the, the, the front of the screen, the, the front mounts. So you don't have to worry about mixing them up. They got Loctite on them. Okay, now here you want to take a take a your small slotted screwdriver and get it in the side like here, and you want to pry up get it right here this little dog right there that's holding it down so you want to get past that so see it just lift it up past there same goes for this side so the dog holds it down so you just get in there oh that was a key not good get in there presto Okay, now when you lift your keyboard up, all right, it is attached. It's tethered by its uh, data cable there. This is very easy to take off. Okay, this one here. Oh. This, your connector lifts forward. So you just take your data cable and pull it forward and up. And you see how the, the door popped open? And uh, reinstalling it's the same way. There's the keyboard. Not much to it, just like I say, be careful with your keys. Okay. So now, this here is your Wi-Fi card. Okay, these connectors right here, these just pull off. They lift up, pull off. 
It's hard to do it with one hand. Let's see if I can. There, just like that. Okay. There's the ends. They snap on there. Then you want to just grab them and get them freed up from the body. Okay, then you got your plug in there. Um, we just get in there and lift that up like so. Come around, get you undone. Bing, bang, boom. Okay. Now it's ready to. Just like that. The screen is off. Now to replace the screen, you gotta take it loose from the frame here, which we'll do in another video once I get a new screen for it. Okay. So now you can hook this back up. Um, if you just pull the video uh, cable out from there leave everything else hooked up you'll still have your Wi-Fi and stuff if you take the screen completely off you lose your Wi-Fi capabilities so you have to you have to hardwire to the internet um, but now to be able to use your computer again you just get your keyboard down here and you want to get your, your strip right inside the mounting bracket again. I gotta use two hands for this, so. Okay. You just get in there. Make sure you're lined up. Let's see here. Okay, right like that. Let me see if I can set this down here. And then just close it. Oh, I'm not not in all the way. This one can be a little tricky. It's not bad. Okay. Oh, no, we're not there. Pull it back up to release it. There. Now we're in. Okay, so we'll set this back down. Your little dogs go in the holes. This laptop's filthy. Now, just, just so you know, you know, anytime I find a computer at the uh, dump or anything, I always reformat the hard drive before I do anything. You know, I, I don't look at people's personal data. Okay, so we get you plugged back in. Now, you can put the screws back in if you want, um, or you can just leave it loose and go about your business. Just pop her in pop her in. It's good and tight like that. Like I say, you can put the screws back on if you want or just leave it like that. Okay, now we'll take it and I'll show you how it works on the external monitor. Okay, so now I had to go, I had to borrow my wife's uh, power adapter for her laptop because this one didn't have a laptop. But actually the battery holds a charge on this. So now I have it hooked up to the external monitor. Okay, like I say, this one here, I've already uh, done Windows 7 on it, but I'll show you how to do that um, uh, after. So, let's switch our source. We're going to lose this camera, so I'll have to get the other one going. Okay. 
Okay. All right. So there's our source. I don't know. It may still be recording. It may not be. Um, as you can see, we got Windows 7. The video settings aren't correct on it, as you can see. But it works. Um, it's uh, not a bad little computer. You can see the we have no Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi card is disconnected, so this will have to get um, hardwired, which isn't a problem. Um, so that's how you get the screen. Let's see. Let's restart it here. That's how you can uh, get your screen off if, you, if it's not working so that you can immediately see what's going on in your video so that then you know you can either use it like I say as a desktop to you get a new screen or um, in the case of this and what like I say what I read a lot of people have problems with media direct this way you can get right into the USB or you can get right into the BIOS and and uh, install Windows from a from a USB drive. So we'll be doing that um, next. But I just wanted to show you how to get that screen off. Okay, Windows is starting up. I'd say that's good enough.